Now, while Samsung continues to have the 3.5 millimeter headphone headphone port on the Galaxy Note 9, a lot of people are still switching to Bluetooth devices, and every now and then they are experiencing some Bluetooth connectivity issues. So today I want to show you how to fix any type of Bluetooth connection issue that you're currently having with the Galaxy Note 9. Now if you remember last week I talked about how to reset network settings that reset your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and mobile data connection. I recommend trying that if you want. Um, it is more kind of like a big sweep instead of just narrowing in on fixing the Bluetooth issue which I'm going to try to help you do today. But it is one of many different ways that we can troubleshoot a Bluetooth device that cannot connect to the Galaxy Note 9. So if you're unfamiliar with that, be sure to check the full tutorial. I'll have that linked in the video description for those who are watching this on YouTube. And on my website, I have that video and that link to walk you through how to reset the network settings on this device. However, if you're only having Bluetooth connection issues, then there's really no need to reset your Wi-Fi or your mobile data. So, in that case, what you want to do, you can first try to go in and unpair and then pair your Bluetooth device again. You can do that from within the Bluetooth settings area what you will find in the settings connections area however if it's paired before and you're just having a random connection issue then it's likely not an issue with pairing and unpairing for that case we're going to actually reset all of the data that the Bluetooth application, which is a system application, stores on your smartphone. So, to do that, we just need to go ahead and open up the settings application. Then we are going to scroll down a little bit to see the apps section. Go ahead and tap on apps. Then we are going to tap on this three dot menu icon at the top right. And we're going to make sure that the show system apps option is enabled because we, again, the Bluetooth share, which is what it used to be called. It used to be called Bluetooth share app. Now it's just called Bluetooth. It is a system app, so we need to see that. So we need to show those system apps. And you just want to scroll through your list until you find the Bluetooth option. This is the Bluetooth app. This is the application that controls all of your Bluetooth connections. Go ahead and tap on that Bluetooth app right there. And if you want, you can try to force stop it. That will, of course, stop the application. So any type of... Uh, connections that you have to Bluetooth devices will be disconnected. Um, it may start up on its own or you may need to reboot your device. I'm not a big Bluetooth fan so I don't know the exact steps for that. However, what you actually want to do is tap on the storage option. From here we have two different things we can do. We first want to clear the cache for Bluetooth you can see it's just instantly cleared and then we want to clear the data for Bluetooth so click on or tap on clear data it's going to ask are you sure you want all of this applications data deleted permanently it will remove all of the paired Bluetooth devices that you have connected and added to your device so you will have to pair them all again that's just one of the things that we have to deal with Go ahead and tap on delete. Now we have cleared both the cache and the data for Bluetooth. 
You can tap the home button and go back to the home screen. Now, if you want, you can reboot your, your Galaxy Note 9 and then go and try to pair your device. I found out that that's not normally required. You can just go ahead and immediately go through the pairing process of any regular Bluetooth device and it will usually fix the issue. Again, these troubleshooting steps are never a one fix all type thing. You normally have to go through a series of troubleshooting steps to find out which one is actually going to fix the issue. This one that I have just suggested here is one that is very popular and that has been shown to fix a lot of the issues that a lot of people who are having trouble connecting Bluetooth devices are having. So that is how to fix Bluetooth connectivity issues on the Galaxy Note 9.